Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the rebirth system and how it works. Firstly, what do you need to rebirth? There are two ways you can rebirth, so let's go to the bag really quickly. You have perfect rebirth stones, and you have rebirth stones. These are different, so please keep that in mind. The standard rebirth stones, you collect shards, and they look like this. Obviously the name hasn't been translated. You need to collect 300 to craft one rebirth stone. You attain these by going to the arena. One moment while I just auto rooting. And then in the weekly rewards section, you get the shards from each box. You do need 300 to craft one rebirth stone. So how many do we get? 40, 70, 90, 100. So if you get all three boxes it will take you three weeks to earn one normal rebirth stone. But we also have perfect rebirth stones. Unlike the other ones, these ones are almost exclusively from events. So I think it was this one. So this one has a standard rebirth stone in it, which isn't very good. Uh, when it comes to events, they don't always have rebirth stones in them as rewards. So when this event appears for you, you might not have this one, or you might have the perfect one. So when it comes to the perfect rebirth stones, it's mostly just luck whether or not the particular event you're doing has them as a reward. So let's go over where you use them and what you get from them. So firstly, click on the Pokemon, bottom left corner, then Pokemon Bag, Release All, and then you have a Rebirth section at the top here. And here we are. So let's pick Gengar, as is currently the only Pokemon that I've upgraded that isn't on my team. And here you can see the differences. You have Normal Rebirth and Perfect Rebirth. I've explained how you get both rebirth stones, and here you can see a disparity in the resources you get back. So, for a standard rebirth stone, I get approximately 75%, I think, of the resources I spent back. And on the perfect one, I get 100%. Now, this doesn't return certain things. This returns upgrade materials, not items. So, as you can see, blue gems, red gems, XP, berries and the silver crystals. You will not gain back the following. Power stones. Held items. Pokemon gear. Um, -da 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 -da. Are these things? Uh, any bases you've used? IVs you've used? Uh, any nature, things you've rolled, these will not be retained or returned I should say. So please keep in mind that if you do plan to rebirth, of which I never do, I think it's a waste, that you just go to rebirth up here, pick the Pokemon and you can click rebirth to return some of the resources that you spent on the Pokemon. This is quite a short guide just explaining how the rebirth system works and how you attain the various different rebirth orb things. So I'm going to end this video here. So thank you everyone for watching and goodbye.